The first time I saw Ma'am was in Puzzle and Dragons, where her first form was carrying some kind of ray gun. I never really understood why she was holding it, nor was I aware Dragon Quest had that level of technology. But at the very least now I can see she holds a gun and I can go, hey, I get that. But of course I really don't. Martial artist Ma'am's Trustmaster reward is an accessory of high attack and raises water and light resistance by 30%. It also has two passives. First, when carrying a single hammer, gun, or fist, your unit boosts their equipment attack by 75%. Second, if held by Ma'am, she gets an extra 250 attack. Her Super Trustmaster reward is also very pink, a two-handed fist that boasts high attack and spirit for whatever reason. More impressively, it boosts all elemental resistance by 20%, Except for lightning because, I don't know, some reference maybe. It also carries Demon Killer Plus One, which they could have just called Demon Killer Plus Plus, but I guess both names sound equally silly. When held by Ma'am, an extra 250 attack. Onto her active abilities. Ma'am's abilities deal physical damage to Chain of Bolting Shrike. Warrior Master style combo fist deals light damage that gets stronger when pounding on Reapers, and lowers your enemy's light resistance by 120%. Tiger Shattered Fist is non-elemental, and fills her limit burst gauge with each use. I'll show you just how painful life can get is a fairly depressing thing to shout at someone who's making her life painful. But it does boost Ma'am's attack by 300%, her light damage by 30%, her limit burst damage by 200%, and completely fills her limit burst gauge if it's at max level. You can only use it once per battle though. As long as you're still alive, there'll be another chance is probably the longest ability I've had to read. But in exchange for that sentence, Ma'am will get a 90% general mitigation buff, a whopping 95% magic mitigation buff, and restores her HP. Passes. But for Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, Ma'am gets extra attack and spear when carrying a single weapon with or without a shield. She can carry a shield. She has 4 strong killers, meets the full cap to the limit burst damage boost, and has a small boost to her limit burst gauge for rate. She prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the boost to the chain limit cap. Of course, she can also carry no weapons to get an extra passive attack buff, but the potential lack of damage variance isn't worth the sacrifice. At EX plus 1, she gets Warring Spirit. At EX plus 2, she gets Chain Damage Boost and the other half to the Chain Limit Cap. At EX plus 3, she gets 500 attack. She also has a decent foundation for elemental resistance, but for best against light and dark. Let's look at her limit burst. It lowers your enemy's light resistance by 120%, gives Ma'am a powerful killer buff against most enemies, Use strong light damage, and strengthens the damage modifier of her limit burst. As a super limit burst user, Ma'am has access to attack shift, which boosts her attack by 250%, her limit burst damage by 200%, and fills her limit burst gauge when the super limit burst is ready to go. Her super limit burst is essentially the same thing as her limit burst, but the imperil rises to 130%, her killers are buffed by additional 100%, and the damage grows even stronger. Let's rank brave abilities. Raising them just raises their damage modifiers, not their effects. Warrior Master Style Combo Fist is on element, so that pretty much gives it an edge over Tiger Shatter Fist. Time to make a damage rotation. Our Super Limit Burst is at a level high enough to take advantage of Warring Spirit. On turn 1, use her Limit Burst. On turn 2, triple cast Warrior Master Style Combo Fist. On turn 3, cast I'll Show You Just How Painful Life Can Get, and double cast Warrior Master Style Combo Fist. On turn 4, use her Limit Burst. On turn 5, use her Super Limit Burst. From there, triple cast Warrior Master Style Combo Fist, prioritizing her Limit Burst whenever they're ready. So, EX2. As a Super Limit Burst user, Ma'am automatically benefits from additional EX Awakenings. It helps her retain full uptime on those powerful killer buffs, which are certainly useful if she fits the fight. Furthermore, EX Plus 2 gives her additional help in the forms of Chaining and her Super Trust Master reward. Her Super Trust Master reward is very strong, given the relative lack of strong two-handed fists, so it can definitely be used on other units. EX plus 3 is expensive. So how good is Martial Artist Ma'am? She's a powerful light damage dealer that's locked to light. Though her numbers look smaller than Fravia and Reese, in practice she'll benefit greatly from her limit burst boss, especially when her strongest killer boss come into play. Still, this doesn't change the fact that she's element locked, meaning she has much less freedom than Fravia. Outside of that, she doesn't offer anything else, but her Super Trust Master reward can be very good. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you want to get Martial Artist Ma'am. Personally, though I understand the value of her Super Trust Master reward, I also don't particularly care. 
I'm not crazy enough about rankings that I need to spend lapis on a single item that won't even decorate my character. But don't let me downplay the value of this fist. But make sure not to downplay the value of your lapis either.